What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to round numbers. Let's go. So we're going to remember today that we need to use a place value chart to help us and we're going to be rounding to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and 100,000. So let's see what that means with this first example. In this first example I have the number 727,234. If you're unfamiliar with reading numbers as large as this, go back to my other video looking at place value of large numbers. But let's begin. It said to use a place value chart to help us. So that means I'm going to put my ones, tens, hundreds. And now I'm in my thousands block. I can use thousands, ten thousand, and hundred thousand to help me. So if we're trying to round this number to the nearest ten, for example, I would have to look in the tens column. And at the minute, I have a three in this column. So rounding to this nearest number means that I shouldn't have to care about anything that comes after it. So this four, we want to get rid of, and we want to replace it with just a zero. But there's a rule, because if this four was actually a nine, for example, then it wouldn't be very fair to keep this three as a three, because the nine would mean that this is actually 39, which is very close to 40, and not to 30. Because if we think about this 34 just here, 34 sits in the middle of 30 and 40. So when we're rounding to the nearest 10, my two 10s that I could round to are going to either be 30 or 40. And my job is to find out which one is closer to 34. Well, we should be able to see that 34 is closer to 30. But luckily, we have a little rhyme for us as well. We can say, that 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 round down to the floor, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 round up all the time. So now I can look back at the start of my question, which was rounding this to the nearest 10. Look in my tens column is a 3. Look next door, I can see a 4. Well, 4 is part of my rounding down to the floor which means I'm going to round my 34 down to a 30. So my final answer would be 727,230 instead of 34. Okay, so rounding to the nearest 10 equals 727,230. Now let's round to the nearest 100. So using the same logic, I'm going to look in my hundreds column and I can see I have a 2. And my whole group of hundreds is 234. So 234 sits between 200 and 300. So I'm either going to be rounding 234 up to 300 or down to 200. So remember, what do we do to help us? We're going to look next door, and in this case, into the tens column. And I can see I have a 3. 3 is also part of my down, so therefore... I'm going to be rounding 234 down to 200. So 727,234 rounded to the nearest 100 becomes 727,200. Okay, we're on a bit of a roll now. Let's look at rounding to the nearest 1,000. And I can see here is my thousands column. So I'm going to look next door and see that we have a 2. 2 is also part of the rounding down. So am I going to keep my 7,234 as a 7,000 or an 8,000? Well, I think you know where we're going. It's going to be a 7,000 because the 2 makes us round down. So round to the nearest 1,000 is 727,000. Okay, let's look at 10,000. And in my 10,000s column, I can see I have a 2. And if I look next door... Ah, this time I have a 7. 7 is in the rounding up category. Because if we think about it, this group here that we're looking at, 27,234 is going to be between 20,000 and 30,000. And we look at the 7 and we realize that must mean it's closer to 30,000. So my answer becomes... 730,000. So rounding it to the nearest 10,000 becomes 730,000. 
Now let's look at our last one, rounding it to 100,000, and we can see 100,000 column is here. Let's look next door, I can see I have a two, that's in the round down category. So we don't need to round 727,000 up to 800,000, we're gonna keep it at 700,000. So when we're rounding it to 100,000, we get to 700,000. And there you go. That is how to round numbers to the nearest 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. Same process for all of it. We just have to look next door to the column that we're interested in to see whether we're gonna round up or down. So it's your turn. Have a look at this number here. Can you round this to the nearest 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000? If you can, put your answers in the comments section. I'm gonna try and mark them all. Press pause on the video now, good luck. And there we have it guys. If you found this video helpful, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find all of the UK curriculum with lessons to help you with every single part. Hopefully this video has been helpful, but for now, peace out.